Baruch Rishon, one Baruch two. Therefore, Yahuwah has made good his word, which he pronounced against us and against our judges that judged Yashadael, and against our kings, and against our princes, and against the men of Yashadael, and Yahuda, to bring upon us great plagues, such as never happened under the whole heaven, as it came to pass in Yarushalayim, according to the things that were written in the Torah of Moshe, that a man should eat the flesh of his own son and the flesh of his own daughter. Moreover, he has delivered them to be in subjection to all the kingdoms that are round about us, to be as a reproach and desolation among all the people round about, where Yahuwah has scattered them. Thus we were cast down and not exalted, because we have sinned against Yahuwah, Eloheinu, and have not been obedient unto his voice. To Yahuwah, Eloheinu, appertains righteousness, but unto us and to our fathers open shame, as appears this day. For all these plagues are come upon us, which Yahuwah has pronounced against us. Yet have we not prayed before Yahuwah that we might turn everyone from the imaginations of his wicked heart. Wherefore, Yahuwah watched over us for evil, and Yahuwah has brought it upon us, for Yahuwah is righteous in all his works which he has commanded us. Yet we have not hearkened unto his voice to walk in the commandments of Yahuwah that he has set before us. And now, O Yahuwah Elohim of Yahshara'el, that have brought your people out of the land of Mitzrayim with a mighty hand and high arm and with signs and with wonders and with great power, and have gotten yourself a name, as appears this day. O Yahuwah Eloheinu, we have sinned, we have done wickedness, we have dealt unrighteously in all your ordinances. Let your wrath turn from us, for we are but a few left among the heathen, where you have scattered us. Hear our prayers, O Yahuwah, and our petitions, and deliver us for your own sake, and give us favor in the sight of them which have led us away. Take all the earth, rather, that all the earth may know that you are Yahuwah Eloheinu, because Yah Shara'el and his posterity is called by your name. O Yahuwah, Look down from your holy house and consider us. Bow down your ear, O Yahuwah, to hear us. Open your eyes and behold, for the dead that are in the graves, whose souls are taken from their bodies, will give unto Yahuwah neither praise nor righteousness. But the soul that is greatly vexed, which goes stooping and feeble, and the eyes that fail, and the hungry soul will give you praise and righteousness, O Yahuwah. Therefore we do not make our humble supplication before you, O Yahuwah, for the righteousness of our fathers, and rather, therefore we do not make our humble supplication before you, O Yahuwah Eloheinu for the righteousness of our fathers and of our kings. For you have sent out your wrath and indignation upon us, 
as you have spoken by your servants, the prophets, saying, Thus says Yahuwah, Bow down your shoulders to serve the king of Babel. So shall ye remain in the land that I gave unto your fathers. But if ye will not hear the voice of Yahuwah to serve the king of Babel, I will cause to cease out of their cities of Yahud and from without Yarushalayim, the voice of mirth and the voice of joy, the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride, and the whole land shall be desolate of inhabitants. But we would not hearken unto your voice to serve the king of Babel. Therefore have you made good the words that you spoke by your servants, the prophets, namely, that the bones of our kings and the bones of our fathers should be taken out of their place. And lo, they are cast out to the heat of the day and to the frost of the night. And they died in great miseries by famine, by sword, and by pestilence. And the house which is called by your name have you laid waste, as it is to be seen this day, for the wickedness of the house of Yashara'el and the house of Yahudah. O Yahweh Eloheinu, you have dealt with us after all your goodness and according to all that great mercy of yours, as you spoke by your servant Moshe in the day when you did command him to write the Torah before the children of Yashara'el, saying, If ye will not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations, where I will scatter them. For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivities they shall remember themselves, and shall know that I am Yahuwah Elohehem. For I will give them a heart and ears to hear, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity, and think upon my name, and return from their stiff neck, and from their wicked deeds. For they shall remember the way of their fathers, which sinned before Yahuwah. And I will bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers, Avraham, Yitzchak, and Yaakov, and they shall be lords of it, and I will increase them, and they shall not be diminished. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their Elohim, and they shall be my people. And I will no more drive my people of Yashadael out of the land that I have given them. <laughs>